welcome to Vlogmas 2021, where we drop one video every day until December 25th. In this video, we're gonna talk about three reasons why 99% of people fail and only 1% actually succeed. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so the main reason why 99% of people fail and only 1% actually succeed in life, and that's anything that you're trying to do, is number one, because they lack motivation. When you don't have motivation in your life, you lack the desire, the will to actually move forward. When you don't have motivation in your life, you lack the desire to get up earlier. You lack the desire to stay longer in doing what you're doing to try to push you forward. There's a lot of different things that are involved in motivation, and motivation simply simply means the act or desire to want to actually do something. Now, here's the thing. When you think about your life, do you get up in the morning and do you have a long-term vision or do you simply get up in the morning and think, well, what's my next five minutes look like? What do I have to wear? In other words, do you plan your next five moves rather than your next 30 seconds. Now, there's a great book by Patrick but David called Your Next Five Moves. I highly encourage you go and check it out. There should be a link down in the description where you can go check it out on Amazon. Your Next Five Moves basically talks about being in control of your life and planning out your next five moves. You see, in the game of chess, in order to win and dominate the competition, you always have to be thinking ahead and thinking one more step further than your opponent. And that's in the in the game of chess that we play in life. You have to figure out what your next five moves are and what it's going to take for you to actually get there. Have you ever been at a point in your life where you lack so much motivation that you just, every day is gloomy, every day is a, is a bother, every day is negative? Well, having motivation, having a an end result in mind, having a goal set, something to actually look forward to in life will really help you step up your motivation. Having motivation in your life is super important to succeeding. And that's one of the reasons why 99% of the people fail and 1% actually succeed because that 1% has a long-term vision. They're planning their next five moves. They're getting up earlier. They're staying longer. They're devoted to whatever their goals are that are gonna push them to the next level. Let's go to number two. 99% of people fail because of limiting beliefs. 1% don't fail and succeed because they break through those limiting patterns in their mind. What is a limiting belief? A limiting belief is a woe is me, is a everything's wrong with me, is a I have so many issues and I don't know how to fix them. Limiting beliefs is you being afraid of what people are gonna think about you. There's so much to unpack within limiting beliefs, but limiting beliefs is the shackles in your mind that you hold yourself in. When you can't break out of those limiting beliefs, when you're fearful of rejection, when you think you're not good enough, when you have imposter syndrome taking over and you think, uh, what are these people gonna think of me? They're gonna think I'm a fraudster, I'm a fake because I'm not there yet. Those are all limiting beliefs. I once worked a freelance uh, role in my career where I did cold calls all day long to try to get new people, new business partners on the phone and to partner with me in business. And before picking up that phone, I would have literally cold sweats because I was so scared of what the other person was gonna perceive me as or what they were gonna think. Now it ended up happening that I, when I broke through those limiting beliefs, I ended up making a lot of money and meeting a lot of cool people. I made one of the largest transactions in my business career. I closed a client on a $10,000 retainer contract to do digital marketing for him. And I closed them one phone call and then the rest was through text message. It was the most wildest thing. But the thing that was the game changer for me during that transaction was the limiting belief that I threw off of me. I took the shackles off and I threw them to the side and I kept saying to myself, you got this, you can do this, you know what you're saying, you're confident, you're bold, you're powerful. And I, and I kept trying to change those beliefs that were limiting me and holding me back in my mind. And that's why 99% of the people actually fail because they have these things that nobody else is holding them back. It's their selves, it's themselves. It's the limiting beliefs, it's the accusations, it's the lies that they actually believe in their own mind that are holding them back, that are preventing them from actually going forward into their 
dream into their vision. Let's go ahead and talk about number three. Number three is the inability to manage your emotions. Now, this is a big one. Men and women alike, it's not just women that are emotional. Men are actually super emotional beings. They just react and respond a little differently than women. A lot of times, men are internal about their emotions. You may see a woman outwardly crying or outwardly speaking about their emotions. Men have the same amount of emotions, they just don't tend to speak about them. They don't tend to let them out as much. So what happens internally, men have this turmoil going on. They have this inner war that they don't know how to get rid of. And what happens sometimes is that men uh, end up lashing out at their loved ones, lashing out at their kids, getting overly frustrated with people. They're expressing their inward emotions in the wrong way. Now, I'm not a psychologist by any means, but I'm telling you from personal experience, having emotions and being able to balance them and stay level in all different kinds of situations is definitely a key attribute in why the 1% are able to succeed in life. Staying level when you're investing, they tell you to take emotions out of investing. Stay level in your emotions. Whenever you deal with money, take your emotions out of those transactions, out of those big business deals. I know specifically for raising a family, the ups and downs of raising a family, you have to stay level. I'm constantly telling my wife, honey, stay level in your emotions. Try to stay level in your emotions. Don't be too high, don't be too low, which means don't get too excited about things, right, until they happen, and don't get too down if they don't happen. Happen. Con consistently try to stay level in your emotions and you learn how to regulate your emotions, you're going to have a more successful life. Share some of these nuggets with some of your friends. And if you uh, appreciated this video, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. All those things help push this video higher to the top in the search engine. I thank you for your time. I love you. I appreciate you. And thank you for watching another Vlogmas 2021, where we drop one video every single day until Christmas time. Until the next video, live well, laugh louder, and learn to be a better you. Peace.